Hi everyone, Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome mesh pumpkin for less than $6. For starters, you're going to need a 14 inch wire frame from the dollar store, some orange pipe cleaners, some fabric mesh or deco mesh, of course some scissors, and then also later on we'll need some ribbon, some flowers, and some zip ties. So for starters, I'm cutting our mesh about 16 to 17 inches long. We just needed to overlap the back of the wreath a couple inches. And right now I fast forward the video so you don't have to watch me cut the mesh on and on. So now we're going to take some zip ties and place them around the wreath. I'm placing these around the inner two rings and I'm placing two of them in each of the six sections with the cross pieces on the wreath frame. So of course we're going to need some more afterwards to make sure that we can't see through the frame as well as see the frame through the mesh. So I'm just placing these just to get a nice start but then we can come back in later and add some more. So now I flip the wreath over and I'm inserting the mesh into the zip ties and then closing it shut. So now we're going to flip over the wreath and pull it towards the front so that we don't see any seams or any wire. And it also helps to hide any of the zip ties that might be showing. So now we're going to repeat this process over and over again until we have all of the zip ties covered with mesh. And then afterwards we can decide if we need more deco mesh to cover up the frame uh, so we don't see through it. On this pumpkin, I'm using fabric mesh versus deco mesh, just because I wanted to have more of a natural fabric look to it. But you certainly could use a basic deco mesh that you can pick up for about $2 a roll. So it just depends on what look and feel you want to go for with this pumpkin. So I'm just repeating the same process. And as you can see, there's gaps in between the mesh. And that's totally fine. We can adjust it later on. And we can certainly add some more. If you didn't care about using more mesh, you certainly could take the entire roll and just wrap it around the wreath, circulating over the top and the bottom. I wanted to use less mesh, so I ended up cutting it into individual pieces. And by doing it this way, you should be able to create about two of these per roll of mesh, making it pretty economical to create these pumpkins. So now we're just finishing up and doing the final touches, adjusting it slightly, and now we're cutting off the zip ties using my wire snips. Make sure when you cut the zip ties, you also point them back into the wreath so that you don't pose the risk of scratching your door. And now what we're doing is we're adding a few additional pieces of mesh to cover up any of the gaps that we have or any pieces that are a little bit see-through like there. So I'm just taking a zip tie and attaching it to the wreath and placing it where need be so that we have a little bit more substance where you can see through the wreath. So now we have our finished circle and we can start designing. So for starters, I'm going to take some of this polka dot ribbon that we picked up from Jacobson Floral in Boston and creating a very simple bow. At this point, I've slowed down the video a little bit so I can show you more clearly how to create the bow, but I do have a more in-depth tutorial creating a traditional bow like this if you want to look at that. So what we're doing is creating four loops on either side, and then we'll also come back in and place a set of two tails underneath. So I just snipped off the ribbon, and while the ribbon's in my hand, I cut off some tails and placed a pipe cleaner to attach it. Now I'm just quickly fluffing it, and now we're going to add it directly to the top of the pumpkin and bring down the tails and fluff up the loops a little bit. This is a one and a half inch wired ribbon, so it's very easy to work with. Now we're working with some fall oak leaves that we picked up from Walmart or the dollar store. These ones were 97 cents, so truly you can't beat that price anywhere. And now I'm just placing them in my glue skillet, adding a generous amount of hot glue, and making sure that there's good contact with either the loops of the bow or the mesh itself. Now we have a couple leftover flowers from other projects that we're going to pepper in. So we had three of those roses, and now what we have is some of these brown filler sprays from Hobby Lobby. So I just cut off about four or five pieces, and we're just going to place them sporadically behind the bow, around the oak leaves, and around the roses. To finish off this wreath, you could always take a dollar store metal tin. What we have right here is a cookie tray from the dollar store that says Merry Christmas. You could drill a couple holes or use a metal hole punch and secure it to the back to hide any of the mesh and the zip ties that might be showing. And here we have the finished product. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you guys don't mind subscribing to me on YouTube, following me on Facebook, and following me on Instagram, I greatly appreciate it. And if you like this content and like to see more of it, Feel free to like this and share this and comment and let me know what you like and don't like about these types of videos. I always love to hear your feedback and as always keep crafting and thank you guys for watching.